stress. Like personal story, like like I remember um like I could say that I'm a really stressed out person. Like anything like that I know is coming up or like any like little thing that comes up to me, like it just really stresses me out, you know. I get really anxious, like all these weird things happen start happening in my body. Like I remember for I remember last year for like it was a three month period. It was really weird, like I would wake up I would go to sleep at eight I remember it was um ten o'clock come to school early. It, for three months every day I would wake up at three in the morning. It was really weird, like exactly it was like three something, you know, it was three in the morning. And I was like I thought that was really weird, you know, I went to the doctor, you know, all that stuff and I was really like I just had a like, like chronic case of stress, you know. So like um <clears throat> So like uh, definition of stress, um, stress is a reaction to a specific stimulus that disturbs and um, disturbs us mentally and or physically. So like I remember, so like for like I just said earlier, like I couldn't sleep very well, you know. Like I would wake up in the morning, like regardless of the amount of time I would sleep, I would still come to school tired, fatigued, like un like not motivated to do anything, like like anything just like really, you know, it just really made me really uncomfortable. I was really sleepy and like. And that's that's kind of like the reason why I want to talk about stress because you know teachers here like they're always like oh that's one for sleeping like why don't you get enough sleep at home like like yo like, <laughs> like I'm trying you know like I'm trying to this case this year too so, so like factors of stress society like you know like like earlier earlier presentations like we talked about how like society we have to put, we have to meet their expectations like in society like for example like look look the best, like, have the best girlfriend, like, you know, make money, this and that, like, and some people can't achieve those goals, which makes just, m makes them anxious or really uncomfortable and, like, have trouble, like, living, living normal lives. So, like, unpleasant events as well, like, like, um, <coughs> like, let's say, um, like, you had a tragic experience at one time in your life, and, like, every time a certain, a certain, um, event or experience, like, similar to that occurs again, you have these symptoms all over again. And deadlines as well, like connecting like back to school, you know, like we have portfolios, projects, and stuff. Like, like you might, you might, you might procrastinate and not do it on, on, like until like the last day. And, like that, that's also like really stressful, you know. That's like, that it's really important because um, stress works with the fight or flight response, and the fight or flight response like um, um, causes um, our body to produce a lot of cortisol and adrenaline, and <clears throat> this this either helps us like like in the images right there um either helps us like like fight like our like the like let's say like you're you're with a lion or a wolf like you either fight or you run away so like and there's these two hormones that our body secretes like during during this event so slide please mm -hmm. um so I'll see the slide but anyway um so like, I'm talking about I'm talking about adrenaline and cortisol so like um. Adrenaline, like, too much adrenaline causes, like, rapid heartbeat, like, high blood pressure, um, anxiety, weight loss, and excessive sweating. And, um, cortisol, this is, this is, like, the hormone that I really like, because it really, like, it really, um, really tied to what, what I was just explaining earlier, so, like, causes back aches, headaches, like, not sleeping well. Like, no matter how much you sleep, like, you're still not gonna get, like, you're still gonna feel tired and all that stuff. And, like, um... Um, <clears throat> this is all according to like the Mind Body Green website and stuff. You know? So like ways to help, solution, like coping mechanisms. Like everyone knows what coping mechanisms are, right? Like we do stuff that we actually, that like helps us like get our mind off like the like from like you know the thing that's bothering us the most. So like um, this is really important because you either have um, healthy co coping mechanisms or unhealthy co coping mechanisms, which is this is why this is, this is really important because like some people could like for a co uh, bad coping mechanism they could like like start using drugs or or doing stuff that like they think is actually helping them but it's impacting them in a negative way or healthy coping mechanisms like um, hanging out with friends or doing stuff you really like doing that you realize you haven't done in a while because stress you know like for me like I like to play soccer and, and like during during the time where where I was really stressed last year like I realized that. All I did, all I did was like go home and sleep because I thought that was the issue, you know. Like I was like, I thought that was my personal issue. Like I would sleep a lot, and like I, I realized I had time. I, I didn't do any of the stuff that I usually, I, I would like to do. Like 
like soccer games and all that. I didn't play a lot of soccer games at that time. So like, you just got to work your schedule and like, when you're dealing with stress and stuff, like do coping mechanisms that will help you out.